Hi everyone and welcome to Art Life. Today I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful artwork just using two simple materials. All you need is a piece of paper and a packet of pastels. I've had a request from a viewer to show you more about using pastels and how to do it. So that's what has inspired this bright and exciting pastel lesson today. During this lesson, I'm going to have a go at showing you how to use oil pastels, some common mistakes that might be made, and specifically how to blend two oil pastel colours together successfully. We're going to have a go at creating a beautiful, bright and vibrant landscape artwork, just like this one and I'll show you step-by-step step how to do it. So let's get started. Two simple materials for a very easy task today. I'm using paper that is a bit thicker. It's sort of like a watercolor paper, but any paper will do. And a packet of oil pastels. Now you can get a lot of different types of pastels to use. There are soft pastels, there are chalk pastels, but today we're focusing on using techniques for oil pastels. I'm using a really good brand, it's called Portfolio, and it means they're really high in oil, so they're very smooth and easy to use. However, the techniques I show you can be used for any quality or any type of pastels that you have at home. Today we are going to create a landscape artwork using our oil pastels. Now the more colours of oil pastels you have, the more vibrant and exciting your artwork will be. But you can pretty much do this task with whatever you have. The first thing I'm going to do, just with a light colour, is section my artwork into different areas. I'm going to create a bit of a hill here. That's my first section. Now I want to create a bit of a sunset. So that's sort of a rounded shape like this. If you have trouble drawing those shapes, you can probably outline around or trace around something that's large and round, like a plate. All right, so this is my sunset behind a bit of a hill here. Now I'm going to create a few other sections of hills. I might just do one more in the sky. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sections here. And so when I'm coloring in, we're gonna use our pastels to fill in each of these sections with really bright and bold color. I'm gonna use two colors for each of the sections, but the two colors that go in together need to be harmonious. That means that they need to be colors that work well together kind of like a red and an orange. In a previous lesson, I go over the color wheel and how colors work together. So you might want to look back at that to start to understand harmonious colors a little bit better. But the basic idea is that the colors that work well together are the ones that are closest to each other on the color wheel because they're so similar. So I'll just demonstrate what I mean. Firstly, with my orange and red here. So notice when I'm coloring in, I'm coloring side to side. I'm pressing nice and hard. Because if you don't press hard, you'll get sort of a sketchy kind of look like that. And that's not what we're going for in this task. We want the color to be really bright and vibrant and almost pop off the page. And if we press really hard, that's what will happen. I'm working really hard as well to get all of the white gaps. So I can't see my paper at all. Going right up to my line here. And I'm gonna color about half of it. All right. 
once you're happy with the fact that you've colored in all the white areas, you can swap to your harmonious color. So I'm going to use my orange now. So I'm going to color in the rest using my orange. Notice that a few little bits fly off sometimes. It can be a little bit messy. Just try to scrape those off as best you can. Again, pressing really hard. Going right up to the edge here. All right, at this point, I wanna show you how to blend the pastels. And that just means bringing my lighter color up to my darker color here. And you notice I'm coloring over the top of it. You can just see that I've created a bit of a shadow going over the top of my first hill here. If you're finding that your hands are getting a little bit dirty, I suggest washing them in between. We don't want to mix the colors because now I'm gonna completely change my colors. It's a bit of an abstract artwork, so I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna use this sort of purpley plum color and a harmonious color for that would probably be either a purple or a pink. So I think they work quite nice together. So I'm gonna start again with my darker color. Really neat with your lines. And as I said, color in about half of it. Now take some time to to get all of these white gaps, but really press quite hard and take some time and effort to make sure that they're all filled. After that point, you can then color a little bit over the top of your darker color like this, which means that the colors will start to blend together a little bit. See that? I'm going to repeat this process now for my other two hills and then do some sky colors in the sky there. Now this happens sometimes. Can you see that the purple has sort of come down into my green and caused a bit of a, a messy area there? So not really much we can do about that. It, it happens a lot with pastels. You sort of just have to keep wiping away the residue parts but it kind of shows you what happens when you try to mix colors that are not harmonious. You kind of end up with a bit of a brownie color. The fact that we're using two colors and blending them here is giving the illusion that the hills are rounded. If we just use one color, it would kind of seem like quite a flat artwork. But you might choose to do something different. For example, you could do these lines could be wavy and suggest it's the sea if you prefer that. You could do a track running over the hills if you wanted to add in a bit more detail. Of course, anything that I show you can be adapted and you can use your own creativity for the task. last. So in this last section it was quite a large area so I chose to use three colors instead of the two. But notice they're still harmonious so they're going to blend nicely. When I'm going to do the sky, 
I'm now going to turn my artwork upside down. The reason I'm going to do that is because if I were to color like this now, it's very likely that I'd get a whole lot of pastel on the side of my hand and probably smudge and ruin the work I've done. So now when doing the sky, we're going to work upside down, but it's the same idea. I'm going to do the sun now. And I'm going to use my darker color first. can see I'm already smudging it a little bit with some residue I have on my hand. So sometimes it's actually good to have a piece of paper uh, to lean on so that you're not going to smudge your work. The idea of this task is to really create a bold, exciting kind of artwork that stands out quite a lot. So pressing hard and filling all the gaps with your nice bright colours is probably really something to focus on with this task. Make sure your yellow is clean. Wipe off that any extra colours that might be on there. Notice I'm not going up to the next colour, I'm just sort of going close to it, but not over it yet, because the pastel does get dirty. So I want to fill this area first. Get all the gaps. See, now I have some red on my yellow pastel here because I've gone up to this red area here so before moving on it's really important to clean off the red off my pastel so it doesn't spread to the rest of my artwork. Time for my two sections for the sky. So I'm outlining this this section here in my darker color and just like with the hills bringing the color down just slightly into the sky like that but I mostly want the light blue to take up most of my sky so I'll start to do that now The reason I'm not going too close to these other colors is because pastels, they like to mix together a lot and it will just get too messy. So I'm leaving a gap for now. And now that I've colored it all in with my nice clean blue, I can now go up to this brown. Now that I've done the brown, I need to make sure I clean my pastel by wiping off the brown parts before I do any other sections. It's likely I'll have some red on there now, so I'll need to clean that before I do the dark blue section. One more to go. It's as simple as that. I really hope that you've enjoyed working with oil pastels today and learned a little bit about how to use them. Please make sure that you subscribe to the Art Life YouTube channel so that you can view any future videos. Please feel free to like this page and comment below with any photos or comments on how you've gone with the task today. 
thanks for joining us. bye.